long, long ago in the Powderhorn Park neighborhood of South Minneapolis, Julie and Kyle Ostra were our neighbors. This was even before Eamon and Vivian, their kids were born. My kids, Kate and Levi, must have been about four or five years old, and they were really good at sleeping. But it was their birthday, and Kyle was making them a special cake, a homemade cake. In fact, he was making a homemade ice cream cake. And sometimes when you make something for the first time, it takes a little longer than you expected. And he brought his finished ice cream cake over at like 10 o'clock at night, long past Kate and Levi's bedtimes. Since it was their birthday and we were feeling really fun and adventurous, we decided to wake them up and surprise them with the good news. So we clambered up the stairs and jumped into their rooms, making lots and lots of noise, trying to wake them up for cake. But do you know what? We couldn't wake them. In fact, we could barely get them to budge. Their eyes fluttered, they rolled over, and they went back soundly to sleep. Not even cake would waste, wake them from their peaceful rest. Sometimes I think about what it might, must have been like for Jesus and his family on the night he was born. They had traveled a long, long way. Think about a car trip, how long it takes, how impatient you get, how uncomfortable it can be. And then when they arrived to Bethlehem, there was no room anywhere for them to stay. And they ended up having to get settled in with the animals in a stable. That had to be crazy. We sing about Jesus' birth as a holy and peaceful night, but the journey was long and the stable was full of animals. And babies being born, that is never a quiet thing. It must have been crazy. And yet Jesus' birth brought the ultimate peace, the good news that God is with us. This last Sunday of Advent, we celebrate peace. I love the sparkle of Christmas lights. When Kate and Levi were little, we told them that the lights were reminders that Jesus is the light of the world. Hopefully this Christmas, you can find some peace together as a family. Do something to remember it together. Make a star ornament with the activities that we provided or pile in your car with your favorite snacks and drinks and drive around the city looking at Christmas lights together. Remember that no matter your crazy circumstances, we have peace. Jesus, the light of the world, Emmanuel, God with us, has arrived.